What? It's the end of the month already? Greetings fellow Vita fans, this is James with PS Vita at 2am coming at you once again with another exciting video. And if you're new here and love everything PlayStation Vita, smash that red button thing. Hey, I gotta change the intro in some way now, don't I? Man, guys, these months are just going by too fast. This entire year is going by too fast, but maybe that's a good thing. We just want to get 2020 over with, I think, at this point. But all the games that could have been released in the month of August have released in the month of August. So, I think it's time for a recap, don't you think? Because we do that all the time, so I guess it really shouldn't come as a surprise now. These are all of the games that came out for August 2020 for our device. You know, that mostly black handheld that everybody thinks is a PSP. And let me know down in the comments section what games you've been playing for the month of August. Kawaii Deathu Desu was released this month, so let's talk about it, shall we? I'm sure you all remember how great this game is. A title where you play Japanese idols that can beat up zombies. It's got my money already! Wait, 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 wait just a moment. Maybe they're not zombies. Maybe they're overly obsessive fans. Eh, same thing. In Kawaii Deathu Desu, supernatural beings find themselves incarnated as cute Japanese idols. Pick a supernatural idol and beat the heck out of your enemies and fans as you can in this addictive beat em up as you work your way up to claim the throne of the underworld because there's like evilness in here too. Although, now that I think about it, there is evilness in the music industry in this day and age. We're still in the era where Justin Bieber jokes are relevant, right? Or is that too 2016? Well, anyway, East Asia Soft, if you're watching this video, please, please, please give us a physical release of this game. We Vita collectors would love to proudly put this on our shelves. Oh, oh, oh. Not getting desperate or anything, you know, just I'll lick your boots if need be. We'll just leave it at that. Time to pillage, loot, and plunder! Oh, and when I say that, I mean we're going to be talking about a game that which centers around politics. This is Norman's Great Illusion. It's my illusion to even think that I could even get into politics. Norman's Great Illusion is a 2D pixel art visual novel in which you have to live a year as an engineer at the plant in the face of rising social tensions. Have you ever wondered why individually good and peace-loving citizens merging into society allow the coming to power of forces that have dramatically opposed their principles? principles and goals? No, no. I just wonder if Justin Bieber jokes are still relevant in this day and age. I wonder that every day, I guess. Norman's Great Illusion is our attempt to talk about this phenomenon. There are no battle royale modes, no microtransactions, thank goodness, no season passes, no loot boxes. The game is 18 plus. Uh, oh, okay. But there is no sexual content in it. Alright, that's a pretty nice change of pace. The game is for quite intelligent and conscientious users. Key features in this game, difficult morale choices, seven different endings, two minigames, and stylish pixel art graphics. Now for those of you out there who just absolutely adore politics and are maybe hardcore into it, and considering the PlayStation Vita doesn't have many games like this, it's a welcome addition to our library. Let's talk about Steam Tactics now. Oh, and I'm going to be reading the description for the PlayStation Vita version on Steam. You get it? Yeah, because it's called Steam Tactics, and I'm reading it on Steam, <laughs> even though it's for the Vita. I didn't think it was one either. Welcome aboard your airship, Captain. Engage in tactical combat. Upgrade your ships and weapons. Level up your pilots. Steam Tactics is an RPG about steampunk airships with turn-based fire emblem ski combat. I don't think I said that word right. Take on the role of a captain of a squad of airship pilots. Acquire and upgrade new ships and weapons. Level up your crew. The king is gravely ill. The queen wishes to employ your services. Are you one of the most renowned mercenary tacticians in the land? Will you answer the kingdom's call? Why did my voice just get high there? Features is simple yet deep tactical combat. You don't have to wade through obscure marginal mechanics. The gameplay revolves around clear and core rules. Vast space for creative decision making. It's up to you to decide how to equip your ships, how to level up your pilots, and how to approach a particular battle. Because if you don't, then you're just screwed. Very progression system. Gather materials to upgrade your ships and guns. Combine duplicate equipment to create more powerful versions of it. Level up your crew. I think I already said that. Little randomness. The victory depends on your tactical skills and wise management decisions. Small pinch of randomness just helps to keep the encounters fresh. Subtle challenges for different skill levels. I know a game like this is certainly going to have its fan base. Maybe you're one of them. Maybe you play this game every day. Maybe you enjoy every minute of it. Maybe I'm so happy that this is the last time I have to talk about this title so I don't have to stare at this thing all day. Have we saved the best for last? The answer to that is no. 
No, we haven't. This is Alpha Set by Pogi. That's my one-handed clap. You're not getting two hands in this one, Pogi. That sounded kind of weird. All right, well, another one of these crossword puzzle ski games. Not sure if I said that word again right, but I don't care enough about this game to correct it. This new word puzzle is a mix of crosswords and Sendoku, challenging both your vocabulary and your deduction skills. Well, I don't have either, so I'm out of this one. There are 26 blank squares. Each letter of the alpha set must be placed exactly once in order to fill the grid with valid English words. Reveal a terrible joke each time you solve a puzzle. Whoa, guys, that last line, it, it really spoke to me. L let's read it again. Reveal a terrible joke each time you solve a puzzle. <gasps> Finally, this game relates to me. Pogi, I've underestimated you. You're a pretty cool guy or gal or whatever you are. All right, that wasn't a bad lineup, all things considered. We got a whopping four games this month, and it was enough to tingle my PS Vita taste buds. Now, guys, I need to know, which of these games have you played this month? Which ones did you like? Which ones, um, yeah, just leave me a comment down below. And as always, fellow Vita fans, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. It really means a lot to me. Love you all, and I'll see you next time. The following video has been brought to you in part by all of these wonderfully generous people who help make this content possible, including Lori Sweeney, Silica, Burrs and Mystery, Redouan Alloy, Eric DeWitt, Tasha Monti, Ronan Alganto, Clayton Malarkey, Gutter Drums, Hemdal Imbert, Wendy K, David Ray, Phantom XRS, Saul Ramirez, Kyle Brooks, JR, Erock, Pierre Sterner, Adam Theory, Skullshire Tugel TCG, BMF, Ruben Gutierrez, Joshua Williams, Jared Hado, Kevin Enright, Heston Joseph, Aaron Swanson, Rodrigo Vera, Hero Acer, Adam Sondi, Dennis R. Huggins Jr., Richard Cruz, Buzz Sayin, Jelle, Mario Cruz, Larry Anderson, B Mystery, Matt Fox, Reiko Star, Neo Arashi, and Milk Sama. If you would be interested in supporting the channel and seeing your name on this end screen here, or if you wish to remain anonymous, that's cool too, then make sure to check the links down in the description below. I have various ways for you to accomplish this down there. Me and Pogi actually saw eye to eye in a video. Guys, I think I'm getting scared.